The Open Legacy architecture encompasses a set of development tools, full runtime environment, and API management capabilities. Open Legacy projects are basic Java projects which are built to expose APIs based on existing legacy backends. We now invoke the legacy program on the IMS system for which we will be creating an API. First, we connect to the mainframe using the IMS user and password. We then connect to the relevant program, in this case, IVTCB, entering the process code display and the employee last name. The mainframe then returns the relevant employee details. In this example, we have already created the SDK project and retrieved the COBOL copybook that will be used to create the Java model. The Design Time Properties folder contains two properties, Generate Copybook as External and Generate Copybook as Entity. By default, these properties are set to False. In this scenario, where we make use of a copybook, we will set Generate Copybook as External to True. We now generate the model, which converts the original copybook into a Java model, and select to create a JUnit test. The Entity Editor is a graphical editor that allows you to view and edit the Java models. Having a graphical editor enables non-Java developers to view and even update the code, and using JUnit test to make sure it works properly. Here, we see that the COBOL code has been correctly converted to Java code, and the input and output fields have been correctly converted as well. Running the JUnit test, we see that the Java returns the same employee details that we saw earlier. To create the service, we create API projects and expose them as REST or SOAP services. In this case, we are creating an API project using our SDK project as the reference project. We now generate the service, PhoneBook, directly from the SDK, choosing the API's input and output and changing them if necessary. In our example, the API input is a customer last name, and the output is a list of employee details. Using the service editor, the implementer can edit the service method and the input and output of the service. All the graphical activities are available by editing the Java code as well. We can now run the application.
Using a browser, we can now see the API catalog, invoke the new API and its documentation, the request and response, and test it in the Swagger page. Our first emulation displays the employee details returned after we entered the employee last name. We will now interact with the legacy system through the API and add a new employee record. The Swagger page displays empty input fields as, de as defined earlier. We enter the add command, the remaining employee details, and click execute. The Swagger response displays the record details as we entered them. To confirm that the record was correctly written, we will return to the legacy IMS mainframe system and display the newly created record. As an additional functional test, we will now delete the new record in the Swagger page and confirm the deletion in the legacy system.